Hi guys, Seattle Andrew here, <clears throat> and I'm going to be showing off two platformers. We've got Megaoid and Cordy. Uh, Megaoid is a free game. Uh, it gets its developers get paid through ads, and Cordy is a free game that utilizes in-app payments. So the first, I think, like three or four levels are free, and then it's a $2 in-app payment for the rest of the game, uh, as well as you can pay to get costumes and other uh, things. So first I'm going to show off Megaoid. Um, now this uses OpenFaint, which is a pretty widely used uh, service. Now I'm showing this off because it works on the Xperia Play. As you can see, I can go to Options, and I could go to like open faint and just all using this that's really nice um, then I could even hit the circle to go back now the game is a platformer and I'm <laughs> quite a ways into it so I'm gonna show off uh, let's go with th this level sure now I can't actually hit X to do it because I have to choose either Sarge, which is the super difficult one, or the hero, which is the normal one, so I'm going to show this one. So the game, you play like any other platformer, you move left and right, and then you hit the X to do a jump or a double jump. And you collect these things called diamonds that fall um, as you get near them, and you can die, start over. And it's a fun little uh, retro-looking um, platformer. You just play the game like this. Now you get graded based off of, did you beat the level in time? Did you also beat it by collecting all the diamonds? I had missed a couple. Uh, there are hidden uh, gems throughout. Like in here, bam, I'm hidden. But uh, there's tons of little secrets, and it makes playing the game not just to get through the levels and to beat them, but also to beat it within time and collect everything. Um, so, it's a pretty fun little game. And, I got that. Uh, oh, I clicked on the ad. So, <laughs> looks like I got the developer some money accidentally. Anyways, this is Megaoid. Uh, really fun. Uh, I like that, especially because of the open feint and the achievements. This is Cordy. Um, and this is on Google's editor picks for, you know, one of the best games. Uh, this is a 3D platformer. So, whereas Megaoid was that 8-bit retro looking thing, this is all 3D. Um, and it actually looks really good. So the premise of this one is you're a tiny little robot uh, going to the planet Cordy, I think, and you have to get these power nodes and restore power to outlets in order to restore your planet to how it was. So this is the planet Cordy, and you finish a section, another section, another section, and another section to hopefully restore power. Um, so let me show off that level. And if you can't hear it. So this is the game. And you collect these little tiny flowerish gear looking things. Um, just like in Megaoid. Um, there's tons of little things to collect, and that helps getting uh, more things for your levels. Um, not only that, but there's these. Ooh, I missed that. There's, uh, you might have missed it, but there's a little yellow lightning bolt circle thing. Um, those are the power things that you add to your battery, so when you get to uh, near the end of the level, you can restore power to the outlet. Um, then you can use like the square or the L button over here and I can 
you grab that thing. Move it over, pop it there. That's the power thing that I was talking about, so I hop in there, bam, grab it, bring that over. So it's a fun little platformer. It's got some puzzle elements to it. It's nothing too difficult that I've found so far, um, but this game looks really good. Um, and even right now, I have it on simple graphics, so I'll turn it over to the HD. Um, hopefully, uh, you'll actually be able to see a difference rather than me just saying, yeah, it's HD. So, I don't know. To me, uh, I can tell a little difference, not too much. Um, but other than that, this is a really well-made game. Aww. I've been enjoying it. Um, anyways, thanks for checking this out. I'm Seattle Andrew. This is the Xperia Play, and you just saw some platformers. Thanks!